Hey guys, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and today we're going to talk about 10 secrets that will help you with your next carnival cruise. We'll be back to talk about it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, one of my very first YouTube videos was secrets on carnival cruisings and things you, you may or may not know and secrets that you should try because most of them are free on your next carnival cruise. Now, that video went viral with almost 3 million views, but it's been up there for two years, so it's really time to update that video. So in this video, we're gonna give you 10 tips and hacks for your next carnival cruise. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel, click the little bell notification, that way you know when we upload a new video. Also take a moment and share this video on your social media. We are giving away a free cruise when we hit 100,000 subscribers and you had to have shared one of our videos on your social media in order to win. So now's a great time, hit that share button, share it on your Facebook or your Twitter. Tip number one, when booking your cruise, go with a professional that you trust. You don't have to book your cruise directly through Carnival. Regardless if you go through Carnival, the largest travel agency in the world, or your local mom and pop travel around the corner, Carnival has what's called level pricing, which means you pay exactly the same regardless of where you book your cruise. The exception to this is if you're booking through a private group cruise. For a group, you'll have to purchase your ticket through the organization that your cabins are booked in order to receive the group benefit. Tip number two. Many people get frustrated that they can't change their dining time when they book their cruise. Early dining is far the most popular and sells out very fast. If you can't get assigned a dining time in advance, simply go to the main dining room usually the dining room closest to midship at about 1 p.m. on embarkation day. There you'll find the maitre d' and he can almost always change your dining time to the dining of your choice. Tip number three. Are you planning on visiting the steakhouse on board? If you dine at the steakhouse on the first night of your cruise, you can get a free bottle of wine for your meal. On many ships, the wait staff in the steakhouse don't tell you this unless you ask for it, but I promise if you ask for it, you'll get it. Also on the first day, the dress code in the steakhouse is lax. Many people don't have or receive their luggage yet from check-in, so you can pretty much wear whatever you want to the steakhouse on your first day. Tip number four. Want to save a little on your drinks? Consider buying the Bubbles package. This will give you unlimited soda pop and fruit juices from any bar on the ship. You can also buy the Cheers package, which will give you up to 15 alcoholic drinks per day and unlimited soda pop and fruit drinks. But what many people don't know is it'll also give you unlimited specialty coffee from the Carfee Bar and even unlimited milkshakes on board. If you're not buying a drink package, you can also save money by bringing your own beverages on board. You can bring on board a 12-pack can of soda pop for each person in your cabin. Each adult 21 years of over can also bring a bottle of wine or champagne up to 750 milliliters as well. Now be careful, if you bring wine or champagne to the dining room, they will charge you a corking fee and this is regardless if you cork it yourself or they cork it for you. The upside to bringing it to the dining room is you don't have to finish your bottle. The ship staff will store it in a refrigerator for you each day and bring it back each night at dinner until you finish the bottle. Tip number five, don't drink too much on the first day of your cruise. Many people board the ship and are so happy to be on vacation that they start drinking excessively right away as soon as they get on board. Alcohol and sunshine really don't mix well and they find themselves sick that evening and even all the next day. Seasickness is actually pretty rare on these ships. Up to 90% of those who think they're seasick on the second day are really just hungover. Tip number six, many people like to put their sail and sign card on a lanyard. They sell them in the lobby of the ship when you board, they run about eight bucks. But did you know you can get one for free? On most ships, if you visit the casino cashier, you can get a free lanyard.
Tip number seven, and this one is easy and often overlooked, and when it is, I gotta tell you, people are very frustrated. And that is, turn your phone on airplane mode as soon as the ship leaves your embarkation port. If you don't, you can expect a very large phone bill when you return home. Every call or text message you make or receive or data that your phone uses in the background to refresh apps like email will cost you a fortune. Even if your telephone plan has international included, I promise it does not apply to a cruise ship. People have come home and found their cell bill in the thousands of dollars, even people that never actually use their phone on board just from those apps refreshing in the background. Tip number eight, cruise ships are a great place to try foods that you would never eat anywhere else. In the main dining room, you can order more than one entree. So have fun, and if you don't like one, they'll bring you another. You'll also find a specific selections of, quote, have you ever tried, end quote, each night. These will bring things like escargot, rabbit, alligator, etc. Try them, they're included in your cruise fare, and you might just find something new that you like that you would never have otherwise. Tip number nine, carry on things you may need. When you arrive at the port for your cruise, you're gonna check your luggage with the curbside porters. Ship staff will deliver your luggage to your cabin sometime the first evening of the cruise. You may not receive that luggage until up to 10 p.m., so be sure to carry on any medication, clothing, or anything else you might need for the first night while waiting for your bags to be delivered. Tip number 10 is buy any packages online at least 48 hours prior to your sailing. When you purchase drink packages, internet packages, etc. in advance, you can save as much as 15% off. Also, if you're planning on purchasing a photo plan on board, you can buy them in advance on Carnival.com because they may not even offer them on board at all. So that's it. Those are 10 tips for your Carnival cruise. If you have any questions or you want to add any tips, please feel to put a comment down below. We love hearing for you, and I love answering the comments down below. So make sure you hit that subscribe button once again, and I'll see you on your next Carnival Cruise.